So how was your journey with Career Launcher, uh, with a classroom program? Um, so I joined Career Launcher in the Express batch, which is the uh, three month batch or something like that. And e so that means I had, uh, I spent f lesser time with Career Launcher, but at the same time, it was really helpful because even the resources that Career Launcher has, such as the app or the uh, access to the mocks or the uh, monthly compilations for GK and things like that, those study materials themselves are really helpful. So the classes are just a bonus. Um, and another thing is uh, through Career Launcher, you meet other people who are preparing. And this is a really integral aspect to uh, how well you can do and how consistent you can be with studying. Because when you're around other people who are having the same goal, it's easier to um, stick to your plan and do all the things you need to do. OK, OK. So how was your experience with uh, this highlight exam? Okay, so this Did you year, find I'm, any I'm sure. replica or any similarity with our mock? Yeah, this year, as I'm sure everybody else uh, knows, there was a change in the pattern which surprised a lot of people. Um, I personally right. think career launcher mocks for ALIT are a little lengthy. They are not, they, it's practically impossible to do them in 90 minutes. On one hand, that makes them really, really difficult to do. On the other hand, it prepares you for when uh, you write the actual ALIT one, and that is more doable in 90 minutes than the career right. launcher mocks. Um, so similarity-wise, uh, the paper pattern surprised everyone, but like the content was the same. It's just the arrangement that was different. So a lot of the types of paragraphs and things are similar. So it just helps to do a lot of reading practice and a lot of mocks because that means you're more prepared for the actual exam okay how sure you are to crack this exam excuse me i didn't hear you uh how how sure you are to crack this exam this time um i wasn't very sure to be honest i just went and did my best and i saw where it got me so that was one thing I was surprised okay. to see the results actually. So yeah. Okay. So uh, how, what was your strategy before exam? Um, one thing that really, really helps is to not think about it too much. It's just, think of it as just another mock. You've done it before, you can do it again. Um, and one thing about ALIT okay. and CLAD and actually all law entrance exams is that they're more skill-based than knowledge-based. They test your skill rather than knowledge. So beforehand, if you do things like read a lot and just build those skills, learn how to read, learn how to comprehend, then during the exams, you already know you're equipped with these skills and you just have to apply them. So it, it helps to be in a calm state of mind, to be calm and competent so you can actually apply these skills that you have, because it's not a matter of recollecting anything you've learned or something of that sort. It's a matter of focusing on the passage and answering what they ask you. So that is one thing, except right. GK, of course, that is the only place that there is knowledge involved. So it is, uh, it helps to just be like, okay, I have done everything I can. Now I just have to get through the 90 minutes. So that was my strategy. Okay. Coming to GK, GK has no end, as you know, right? So <laughs> how, uh, how helpful it was, you know, uh, to get everyday GK, uh, I mean, what were the sources, other sources? Um, I had a very messy and preparation for GK. I had a very lengthy and uh, there were a lot of ups and downs. Um, and I struggled a lot with it. But like, because of that, I know, I know what I'm saying when I tell you that GK, there are a lot of sources. Like if somebody is starting preparation, they'll see there are a lot of sources. There are a lot of ways to do it. There's so much advice out there on the internet, in coaching centers, everywhere. But at the end of the day, it's just, um, it doesn't matter how good your source it or something, sources or something like that. And also there is no perfect plan for GK. There is just starting and improvising. You, you can't figure it out all before you start. You start and then you improvise as you go. So, um, for GK, like as it says in the name itself, general knowledge, it's just a lot of familiarization with many topics. 
and uh, people seem to think that it has there's this misconception that it has to do with you know memorizing facts or knowing history or knowing things like that but it's more but like as we have seen right. in the paper they ask more general they ask questions that just test your general awareness rather than whether you memorize something so uh, that's one thing another thing is that there has been a recent pattern in the law entrance exams of there being unexpected gk questions this is discouraging a lot of people and making them go you know what's the point of even practicing gk if they're going to ask something that's so out of nowhere uh, but i think it's still worth doing the preparation itself because regardless of how it affects your exam it's still a nice thing to learn more about the world and and just gain more knowledge so clat preparation or alit preparation or any law exam preparation by itself is a nice thing to do because it uh, gives you a lot of benefits in ways and only one of them is the actual cracking the exam it the preparation itself is a gives you a lot of other benefits and we have heard that you know many of the students comes with you know there is the center uh, exam center they got panic you know they could not manage the timing and all so how did you manage the timing at the exam um one thing to do is um preparation a lot of preparation is studying and all the productive the productive part of it the other part of preparation is the relaxation aspect so you have to know what you like doing if you enjoy listening to music or you enjoy watching shows and things like that and you have to put time in it time for that in a day like you have to and it's not like a, a break is something you take when you get frustrated or something like that you should have time for it because that's the only way you can sustainably prepare for a long period of time so if that happens um okay. and you do that for a long period of time you get used to uh, like compartmentalizing the uh, productive aspect and the relaxation part so in that same way when it comes to the final exam day uh you don't panic before the exam or things like that because you can listen to music on the way to the center or you can you know just calm down whatever will happen will happen and then while you're in the exam hall start focusing on the content itself if you give room to thoughts of oh no how will it go or things like that those thoughts will take over and you'll not be able to focus on the exam itself also for right. time management um yeah. these are lengthy exams and alet is a lengthy exam with like a short time frame uh, so a lot of a lot of cracking these exams is not just about how much you know it's about how smart you are with picking questions to do it's about strategy more than uh, sometimes it's about more about strategy than about other things and as we know these exams have negative marking so you have to work on your strategy and you can do that by taking mocks Okay, so through okay. mocks you'll figure out the strategy that works for you yeah that's that's true and uh, one more thing that you have joined with the express batch right it was three months only so how much time you have invested you know on your self study before exam uh, on daily basis um to be honest uh, i invested a lot of time in gk uh, and in analytical reasoning and okay. things like that but the reading aspect of it, the english and logical aspect i didn't invest that much time because mainly this is an exam that tests your reading speed and your comprehension and i've already been an avid reader like reading is one of my favorite hobbies i do it quite a lot i do it obsessively i do it often and i do it and i do it with love so i was already very um comfortable with reading so in that aspect i didn't have to spend that much time uh because it's something i enjoy doing too but gk and stuff like that is something that it's good to spend time every single day because it's not something you can familiarize yourself at one go and revision is key too because whatever right. you learn you have to remember to mem you have to make sure that it sticks and you don't just read it and then forget it so for that it's good to spend time every day even how much depends on you but it's good to do something because you know you should always remember that something is better than nothing 10 minutes is better than zero and things like that okay okay so what will be your tips for your for next uh, your uh, students who will write next year exam what will be your tips for them yeah like i said my my main tip is to build 
reading skills uh like a lot of people advise a lot of things read vocabulary books or practice passages and things right. like that but but to make that easier you can start with just reading something you're interested interested in like if you like gaming or if you like sports or something like that read articles about the thing you're interested in read books that you could like or find something that you actually enjoy reading and and this way you get like a two fold benefit in one way you're preparing for clat in the other way you're also doing something you like you're discovering more about it you're reading more about it this is like the most right. important aspect the rest of it the practicing passages and answering questions and building vocabulary and all this you can do over time uh, so one tip one, another tip of mine is to just um, be consistent with it but but take it slow like it does you don't have to spend that much time per day if you start early enough and and another thing is uh, no matter how well prepared you are before how no matter what, how prepared you think you are right before the exam like leave all those thoughts of no i can't do it i can't can do it or not just do how much you can and then see uh, don't go in with any previous assumptions also okay. one thing is that okay. a lot of people have issue with the way the consortium sometimes makes the papers like this year uh, or something right. like that and this discourages people from taking law they're like no why should we even do it if it's if it's arbitrary and things like that but i think they should encourage you more because if you have some issue with the way a system is functioning no matter how unfounded it is or whatever if you have a personal issue with the way a system is functioning then law is a good field for you it means you want to change something you want to fix something you want justice basically so i don't think people should be discouraged by how paper patterns are or anything like that if not it should if not anything it should inspire them that oh yes i want to learn this so that i can fix it later on or something of that sort okay okay thank you so much uh, uh, nida and one more thing ye yeah, aap mere background dekh sakte hain ha 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 dekh sakte hain can you see this Yeah, yeah. If I'll put a uh, picture of yours here, and whenever you will enter to the career launch center, how you will feel? Yeah, I'll, I'll be proud. It will feel like an achievement. Yeah, you have been a student at Amir Bed Center, right? So yeah, yeah. You have seen many many posters there also. Is it a motivation yeah. for you also? Many of the student has been told us that it's quite. You know, Um, motivating yeah it's motivating it's nice to see okay other people have done it i can do it too it's um and it's also nice to feel like a part for legacy or something of that sort okay okay we are so proud of you nida and uh, thank you all the best for your future thank you so much